Tonight is July the 2nd, 2015, and I've uh, been experimenting here off and on with the with just the filament supply of this uh, 833. It's going to be quite a challenge. I'm right now using this little uh, uh, bridge, which it gets much too hot. As one gentleman uh, has already commented on uh, on YouTube that this one is, is going to be too small, and I agree. So what I have is... I have these guys right here. These are um, 1 in 3213s and 3213Rs, which means that uh, it just means that the cathode on this one is pointing this way to the base, and the cathode on these are pointing upwards, which allows you to mount these on a heat sink and these on a heat sink for convenience. So I have diodes. I have lots of this kind of stuff. Okay, with that said, uh, let me show you something that's a real challenge. Kind of keep an eye on this guy right here. Volts DC. Okay, let's put it on volts DC. And we put a... Uh, we turn it on. There's our 10 volts. It's our 10 volts right here across our filament. And we see that our tube is lit up and beautiful. Now, if I take, this is a uh, 49,000 volt, or excuse me, 49,000 microfarad capacitor. If I take it off, you can see our DC voltage drops. The AC voltage on it is, uh, see, 4.5 volts AC. That's with no filtering at all. If we put 49,000 on it, we get, it drops to... 0.8 volts. You can see the same thing over here on the oscilloscope. I'll show you. Let's look at this. This is a, another way to look at it. it. Got wires in a way. Um, see, that's 2.3 volts AC. You can see right there. If I take the capacitor off like I did a while ago, you can see it jumps way up to um, lazy man scope so you can just punch the buttons on it and, and uh, delta time you know, volts and we move these guys up like that and then you measure the voltage you see it's 13.7 volts a ripple which is what you expect it's just unfiltered AC putting the 49,000 back across it drops it considerably down to that 2.3 we had a while ago. Too bad we have to fiddle with this darn thing every time. There's our 2.3. Now watch what happens. Let me move the camera back over here. I'm having to put this thing on a, on a stand so I can uh, work. I can't do the work and hold the camera. I'm going to put, I have two huge capacitors here. I had to put them in series. These things are, uh, if it'll, if there's enough light there. These are 280,000 microfarads at 7.5 volts. I got, I got them in series. This is the plus if I put this across it and we watch the AC right there it'll drop it'll drop considerably um, and I know these are not the best connections see it drops to 0.3 volts to something drops a lot back to the oscilloscope no no, no it, it's come loose sorry for the fumbling just, just such a, a breadboard setup temporary I'm trying to figure out there we go just dropped to 0.17 and you can see it uh, see the same thing over here it's dropped way down 
peak to peak, it's only uh, um, half a volt. But wow, that takes a lot of capacitance across the uh, the filament. That's just a filament supply of this beast. I don't know. Kind of crazy, huh? I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to settle on. Definitely I'm going to swap this guy out for the stud diodes mounted in some heat sinks. But uh, I'm just trying to get past a, uh, an acceptable filament supply right now. I might want to show you something else here. I hope that you'll find it interesting that all of you may not know. I'm not going to be using this capacitor, but I dug this thing out, and if you look at it, this thing is 10 microfarads at 660 volts AC. Well, an AC capacitor has to see the peak-to-peak -peak voltage across the circuit. So it's 660 volts AC. But if you want to use a, an, an AC rated capacitor for DC, you multiply it times 2.828, or about 3. Just multiply it times 3 in your head. 3 times 6 is 18. This is a 2,000 volt DC capacitor. It will work perfectly at that voltage. I don't know if you know that or not. We won't get into the details of uh, AC of all of the details of this but anyway it is uh, you can use them 660 volts AC is uh, it's two times the square root of two times this is its DC rating which is approximately three two thousand volts at least and here's something I don't know how many of you have seen if you've heard of them these are called ultra capacitors look at the rating on this thing you gotta stare at it for a second to believe it 1500 farads, not 1500 microfarads, but 1500 farads at 2.7 volts DC. You find these things if you look on uh, eBay and YouTube, you find these things where people uh, use these things to replace batteries. They can hold an enormous charge. In charging one of these things up, you can't just simply put a charger across it. It will uh, trip the breaker on your charger because you have to do T equals RC. The time to get to 63% of the applied voltage is T equals R, which would be the resistance, the series resistance in it, in the circuit charging it, and C, if it was 1 ohm, it would be 1500 seconds to charge this thing to 63% of, uh, of its capacity. These things are way out of space. I mean, th th this is, I'm not going to be using it. If I had, mm, let's see, for 10 volts, I'd have to have uh, uh, like six of them in series, right? And it would be one sixth this capacitance, but it would be six times this voltage. But that, w that wouldn't work. This would be way, way, way too much capacitance. I can't put this thing across it. I don't even know why I'm showing you that, except I find these things so interesting. I used these things just in an experiment when I was out at Fort Bliss right before I retired. Another complete story. But there we go. I'm trying to document every small little aspect of the building of this over-the-top amplifier. I'm going to unplug it here. And this this uh, rectifier is getting really hot. And I can smell it. Um, this uh, project was inspired by gentleman that I communicate with on uh, YouTube named Marco and I'm uh, hoping that he will find all of this useful and build his own and maybe even post some of his own results but right now I'm in the uh, still in the process of just determining what is a good filament supply and how much capacitance I need across it and where is going to be the uh, point of diminishing returns as far as uh, as capacitance grows, I'm probably not going to mount a couple of these monsters in there like this. 
but I may need something like a hundred thousand microfarads to reach a, a reasonable point. We'll see. Otherwise, the darn thing's going to hum, and you're going to have to play it into really inefficient speakers uh, to not be annoyed by the hum. So this is the first challenge. The rest of it, I think, is going to be fairly simple. I mean, power supplies, high voltage power supplies are high voltage power supplies and so on. Anyway, I'm just trying to document every little aspect of this and um, hope that it helps others in building their own.